Hello everyone, um, this is Applejack from COH2.org and I want to showcase a pretty broken bug in the game right now. And um, this bug is, uh, is pretty bad because, uh, because of the recent munitions up update uh, that increases OKW's munition income by 33% from 66% to 100% uh, makes it pretty powerful. And the reason why it's powerful is because uh, this ability uh, fires, does damage based on how much munitions you have, and it's possible to wipe bases with it. And I'll explain how to use this to just remove a player from the game. And removing and getting removed from the game is not fun. First of all, what you need to do is um, you need to have vision. So, uh, so what what these guys do is they have uh, someone call in a recon plane um, no not that ah, here it is uh, a recon plane right here so what what they do is um, they call in a recon plane and you know some some will argue that you could counter this by having some AA but this is not something you can expect you know um, not something that uh, that um, that you can see it's coming, you know, and that you have to prepare by having uh, like an anti-aircraft gun at both all your bases, you know, it, this is this is just pretty broken. Let's watch. They call on a recon plane here. Ready to launch. And I'm just gonna switch over to this guy. He has uh, about 700 munitions right now. I'll turn off fog of war as well. The recon plane comes and scouts the base. Now he sees the base, and this gets called in at about 700 munitions. 720, I guess. And. Good shell. That's quite a lot. Okay, so it's over, and they don't really see what happens, but let's just change it to the guy that got chilled, my buddy Rocket. So as you can see, his entire base is gone. Oh, I guess you can still use his battalion command post, but uh, all his abilities don't work anymore, so he can't do his uh, easy eights, and well, I don't know about Collins, but he can't do that. So basically, uh, Rocket here has been removed from the game. He can't call in new units and he has to rebuild his base and I don't know if you guys ever had your base destroyed it takes a pretty long time to rebuild your base and the total investment for the Axis team just to do this is let's see 180 munitions and I believe the call in the recon plane is about 80 munitions too so 260 munitions plus one player just not using munitions and that's fine because he's a he's a Jaeger light recon or he's a scavenge doctrine, so all he has to do is just uh, play like partisans, except have better partisans and kills weapon teams and salvage them. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, 260 munitions to remove a player from the game is pretty ridiculous. And um, this isn't the only time it happens. I believe uh, we rebuild Rocket Space, but he does it again. So let's just watch out for that. Just notice how long it takes to rebuild the base. He has to he has to use his ability to call in two rear echelons first of all. And um and we can send in engineers too. I, I believe I sent in two and two squads of engineers to help him rebuild. Point 
So notice how long it takes to rebuild the base. You start at like 21 minutes, and you're just uh, you're just taking the company CP up, which is I don't recommend building first because you don't really need uh, Rifle squad ready for action. stuff from this. Rear echelon squad ready for action. Okay, so Rocket gets his, uh, his vehicle crews to repair too. He started at 21 minutes. It's been one minute. Uh, nothing's been repaired yet. He can still use the battalion command post. But... Repairing his base, it's it's like a 3v4 right now because um, uh, obviously Rocket has to repair his base, and all Rocket can do right now is just call in Sherman. And I, I know I said before your disabilities don't work, but uh, I guess they do work. So now his buddy is helping him to repair. Let's just go back to this guy here. The squad of pioneers has arrived. So, four minutes later, got two buildings up. I'm gonna get the third one up. This is like four squads, or was it three squads of uh, of engineers repairing? So four minutes and thirty seconds, mostly to repair everything. Nice. For a small investment of two hundred and sixty uh, munitions, and now this cocksucker is gonna send in another recon plane. And let's just see what happens. So this guy is going to do another one of those barrages at, uh, this time it looks like, yeah, around 700, 680, 680 munitions. Base is annihilated again. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty broken because um, for a small investment of uh, 260 plus 500 munitions, you basically just remove a player from the game. Uh, just, you, you remove all his options from the game except his commander abilities. I mean, it's lucky that Rocket is a rifle commander because he can keep calling in easy eights, but he can't do anything else. Um, because his base is just annihilated, and then what else? They can just do this to another U.S. player's base, because uh, the buildings are all s such stacked around, right? So some some proposed fixes I would recommend is uh, making these buildings more resistant to artillery fire. First of all, maybe like an anti-aircraft emplacement, just like how OKW have uh, as uh, like default. Uh, what? As default buildings, because they have anti-aircraft guns, I guess they don't have any. It's weird. Um, and um, and and yeah, nerfing the ability, nerfing this uh this munitions ability, because because of the munitions increase, you know, this is like thirty three percent stronger now, so it's thirty three percent more effective at base wiping. So, yeah, please nerf OKW. Thanks for watching, guys.